President Barack Obama went over the state of New Mexico. Now let's head over to Mr. John Alex Evans to discuss the results. Welcome back to our post-selecting coverage of 50 states and 50 nights. We're going to continue with the state of New Mexico. Uh, Saad Matisse, thank you guys for joining us this evening. Thank you. And we're with the, the state of New Mexico. We, we here at the Nightly Report predicted that uh, Obama would take the state by 4% when in reality it was 10. Atif, can you explain that difference? Um, what we see in New Mexico is a dominant Hispanic population. So 77% of Hispanics voted for Obama, which is more than we expected. Also, across the nation, polls had a slight bias towards Republicans, which is why we underestimated Obama's performance. I see. Um, even with that slight, that slight lean, um, why did why did Romney only campaign there once? Well, the first time Romney visited New Mexico in mid-August, the immediate polls afterwards showed that there was still a gap of 20 percent in the popularity of votes, and this must uh, this deterred Romney and his camp, and might have. They might have seen New Mexico as a lost cause. However, if he had seen the polls again after the first presidential debate, he'd have noticed that the gap lessened to under 10 percent, and this might have just uh, uh, prompted him into incorporating another return to New Mexico into his schedule. I see. So he could have actually had a chance if he might have campaigned. That's a big factor, but Atif, what do you see as a big factor in this election as well? Well, as an incumbent, Obama didn't have to campaign as much as he was in his protectionist stage. Mm -hmm. um, also, we can see that uh, New Mexico is becoming more democratic. Both uh, senators who were elected were Democrats. Finally, Obama took the most populous uh, counties in New Mexico, including Santa Fe, Bernalillo, and Donna. Yeah, let me add on to those, uh, those, those three counties, actually, a very surging Latino votes. Um, and the Latino population is surging all through New Mexico. now. Uh, uh, Saad, does this actually parallel the rest of the nation? Indeed it does. The Hispanic population is the fastest growing population since 2000 and they compromise the second largest racial group in the U.S. currently. And this means that in future presidential elections, uh, they, they will play a huge role. And this is something that the Republicans really need to address. And looking at voting demographics, it's clear that the nation is becoming more racially polarized and New Mexico is a perfect example of this. Actually, that's a great point to bring up because tomorrow we're going to have a, a speaker in. I believe his name is Sean Theriol. All. Theriol. All. Sean, come by tomorrow and talk about uh, how the parties have racially become polarized. But I must thank you guys for being here and thank you for your intellect. And also, America, thank you guys for voting. I'll see you tomorrow.